welcome to One and All Kids. We're in our next week of food trucks. I love that Jesus loves everyone, and I cannot wait to learn more about it. Last week, we learned about Jesus healing a sick man. This week, we're learning about how Jesus is a friend to everyone. Let's go! It's time to praise Jesus with some singing and dancing. When we worship, we can sing and we can dance. Dancing during worship is one way we can show God that he is the best and we just love to worship him. Let's dance as we sing our first song. Dance moves can help us remember the songs that we sing, but it's also a way to show our excitement and joy for Jesus. We dance because we love what we're doing, and when we dance during worship, it means that we love praising Jesus. Let's keep on dancing to our next song.
Hey everybody, I love singing our special song with you. Are you ready to sing Praise You? Let's go! Early in the morning when the sun begins to rise and I open up my eyes, I will praise you. Early in the morning when the sun begins to rise and I open up my eyes, I will praise you. Every day I give my life to you, in everything I do, I will praise you. Every day I give my life to you, in everything I do, I will praise you. You stand beside me, your hands will guide me, you fill my heart with praise. You stand beside me, your hands will guide me, you fill my heart with praise. Thanks for singing with me. Bye. Singing and dancing with you is the best. We get to dance to one more song together at the end, but now it's time to hear our true Bible story from Ollie. So grab your Bibles, grab a seat, and get ready to learn with us. I'm Aisha and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see today's special? Ta-da! I call them my happy heart cupcakes. I can't wait to give them to all my friends. I love them so much. <laughs> Raise your hand if you have friends that you love very much. So many of you. Okay, you can put your hands down. Friends are awesome! Today I have a story about someone who didn't have any friends, but then she met the best friend ever. Do you want to hear the story? If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story! One, two, three, tell me a story! Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with this woman. She was very sad because she didn't have any friends. She had made a lot of bad choices and now no one wanted to be her friend. Can you imagine not having any friends to do things with? Nobody to play blocks with, nobody to play at the park. How would it make you feel to do all those things by yourself with no friends? It would make me sad. Can you show me your sad face? Good job! This woman was very sad too. One day, Jesus was teaching a lot of people. Suddenly, some people who didn't like the woman brought her to Jesus and said, Jesus, this woman has done bad things. Wow, they were definitely not this woman's friend and they thought Jesus wouldn't want to be her friend. But wait, we know Jesus is special and Jesus loves everyone. Do you think Jesus loves this woman and wants to be her friend? Yes! Jesus did love her and wanted to be her friend. Jesus asked the people, have you ever done bad things? Have you ever made bad choices? Step forward if you are perfect and have never done anything wrong. And do you know what? No one stepped forward because none of them were perfect. Jesus didn't punish the woman like the people wanted. Jesus told her to go and make good choices. Jesus was kind and loving to the woman when no one else was. Do you think Jesus will love us when we make a mistake? Yes! Will Jesus love us no matter what? Yes! <laughs> Jesus will always love us and Jesus wants to be our friend forever. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Oh, hey there, Ollie, tell me, who does Jesus love? Jesus loves everyone. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who does Jesus love? Jesus loves everyone. <laughs> That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. Who does Jesus love? Jesus loves everyone!
That's right, Albert. Great job. Now, let's see if we can review our Bible story and see if we can remember everything that happened. Everything? Every single thing. That's going to be really hard, but I think our friends can do it. So, if you know the answers to our questions, shout them out really loud, like louder than me. Well, louder than Albert. You guys better try to shout out really loud then. Today in our story, we started by meeting a woman. Was this woman sad? Or was she happy? That was a really good sad face. You should do it again. Because this lady was sad. Oh, sorry, hold on. This lady was sad. She made some bad choices in her life, but because of that, no one wanted to be her friend. One day, did a group of people try to throw her a big party or did they bring her to Jesus? Whoa. That's really sad that no one wanted to be her friend, but they brought her to Jesus to show him that he shouldn't be her friend either. Ugh. That's not very nice. So rude. I know. Was Jesus kind and loving to the woman or was he also mean and hurtful like the other people? Ah, oh, classic Jesus. He was kind and loving. He told her to go and make good choices from now on. Thanks for answering all of our questions. You all did amazing. And I think you were even louder than Albert. <sighs> I've been dethroned as the <laughs> loudest person to ever exist, ever. Wow. Well, either way, who does Jesus love? Jesus loves everyone. Nice. I love to remember that Jesus loves everyone. And the best way that I can do that is by remembering my memory verse. It comes from Ephesians 4, 32, and it says, Be kind and loving to each other. Ephesians 4, 32. I love that verse. Now, I need to regain my title as loudest person in the universe. So, can we say our verse loud and proud because we love Jesus too? Yes, we can because we do love Jesus. Friends, say our verse as loud as you can. Ready? One, two, three. Be kind and loving to each other. Ephesians 4, 32. Good job. What? Y'all are so loud. Huh? Open your ears. Wait. Huh? Were they so loud that you can't hear anymore? Oh, man. I think Jesus needs to heal my ears from the from so how loud it was. He can do that, you know. He can, just like in the story. Oh, I can hear again. Boom. Amazing. Heal. Crazy. Just in time for our big pause. This is the time when we pause our bodies and our minds and think about who God is and what he does in our lives. Pause the video and take some time to think about this question. How can you be a friend to everyone? Answer this question with your friends around you when we pause. Okay, that's a really good question. All right, here we go. Here comes our big pause in three, two, one. Big, big pause. pause. <sighs> Great work, everyone. Yeah, nice job. Now let's close our time by praying. You can pause the video and talk with your friends about prayer requests, or you can pray along with us. Praying is just talking with God about everything in our lives. He loves hearing from us and if we stop and listen, we can hear from him too. Yeah. Let's close our eyes and pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for loving us. And thank you so much for showing us that we can love everyone too. Just like how you were a friend and you loved that woman even when nobody else did. Thank you for who you are. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Bye, everyone. See you next time. Hey, everyone. Now is our time for offering. When we give our offering, God wants us to want to give our offering. That means that he wants us to be generous people. Whenever we get something like money, God wants our first thought to be about using that money to help others come to know him. When we give our offering, we are becoming more like Jesus by being generous people. When we get into this habit, we will start being generous with other things too, 
like our toys, our time, and our love. Talk to your parents about what it means to give your offering today. Now it's time for our last worship song. Stand up on your feet and worship with us. And I can't wait to sing some more. Come back with us next week. Invite some friends so they can come with you too. I love seeing my friends come to church and the best way to do that is to invite them. This week, try asking a friend to come to church with you. Your parents can help you do that. I can't wait to see you and your friends. Until next week, I wanna send you off into the week with one hope and one life in Christ. Bye everyone. <laughs>